Hello, I can see a few people here already. And I'm like having these expectations. Should I have expectations? It's because the day is already very beautiful and it's perfect. I'm on a rush, like working a lot, different things in places today. And I took my time to come here to the garden, to the sculpture gardens, which is a place that I love to share this moment with you. So I want to see who is there present with me today. Is Leslie, Carla C, thanks for joining. Victoria, Christina, hey, hey. Hi, Anita. From Latvia, Emma, Leslie. Hello, Carla. Where are each of you from? It says there are 13 people in the uh, in the room, but I don't see 13 here. Melbourne, Florida. Hey, Janet, Judy. Hi, all. Where are you now, Emma? Emma from Ireland. Hello, thank you so much for sharing where you are. That's great, thank you. Now, I'm also south mm, near the Gulf of Mexico. All right, South Mississippi. Carla from Mississippi. Hey, Angela, thanks for joining too. With 20 residents and senior living community watching too. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow, cool. So the, you are gardener, garden lovers. I am a garden lover. I have a garden in my back page of myself here in Rio de Janeiro. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining. Hey, hey. Thank you, Dorley. Thank you all for being here present. Today we are here in Rio de Janeiro. The temperature is great. And it's about uh, 27 centigrade, which is, let me see how many Fahrenheit is this. Let me check here. I'm also sharing here with you a link to Amphi where I run, I can run a full tour of the park as well. And today the temperature, let me check here on my thermometer, is 79 Fahrenheit in Rio de Janeiro. And it's winter time, the sky is super blue. Uh, today this link to Amphi. Hi Dorley. It's gonna lead you to my profile there. You can, where you can see, we can have FaceTime on a private or group tours li uh, live streamed in Rio de Janeiro. And I can give a full tour for the gardens, whatever gardens you would like to see. There are many in Rio. And uh, we can have like an opportunity to see each other's faces, to hear each other's voices and learn more while traveling virtually, okay? So I am here in the Catacumbas Park. And it's the sculpture spark in Rio. Today I will show you a little bit of modern contemporary art. I will talk to you a little bit about the sculpture that I find here. And we'll see, of course, the gardens of a little bit of the gardens of the sculpture spark. All right, let's go. Now I'm here in front. You can see the outskirts, like the fence of the park. And the traffic is starting because it's, well, it's actually still 2.30 in the city. But around the Lagoon Rodrigo de Freitas, where we are, uh, the traffic can get worse from now to 5 p.m. People here from the staff and the children's park, there are some of the park's facilities. And you can see their family already going up hiking for a hike to the viewpoint of the Urugu. Hi, Mary Lou. Thanks for joining from Calgary. I'm showing you uh, people here already with uh, their families to hike. So 
So you see some of the beautiful lush scenery of the of Rio from one of our family parks here. The Sculptures Park will have many rainforests, uh, flora, and there are some species here that are shown. Uh, they have on the uh, information. They have on their fauna also many, many creatures. And a little bit of the history of the place. We are on the surroundings of the Lagoon Rodrigo de Freitas, which in this place where there is the park now, there was a community living here. But because they were very poor around uh, in this area in the 50s, uh, they started to make a plan to unfortunately gentrify and expel the community living around here. And they built up the Sculptures Park around this modern and more modern buildings in the area where people with money could afford to live. So uh, I like a little bit of the history background so you can have an information of what was. Thank you. So here is a favela that was around where today is the park. Thank you, Laura, for supporting, for your observation. Here's the entrance of Catacumba Park. And it functions from Tuesday to Sunday, from 8 to 5 p.m. And you can have hikes, picnics, and also sports in the trails. We are at the, the art everywhere. And at the start here of the park, at the entrance of the park, we already see a base a relief of an artist from Argentina who was nationalized here in Brazil, naturalized in Brazil, and lived his, throughout his life in Salvador de Bahia, Caribe. Very famous and popular in Brazil as a modern artist and in Bahia as a resident artist there. Here, uh, okay, thank you. Here he is representing the Orisha Oxóssi. And who is the Orisha Oxóssi? Orisha is the god of the Yoruba people representing the god of hunting. So that's why he carries on his hand the, the arrow, bow and arrow in his hands to hunt. And of course, he on his hands, the hunting that he was able to capture. The animal, can you see? Here are birds that he hunted and a cabasa for water on his hands. Also down here, Hi, Lorna. Thanks for joining. The other hunting that he did. Look how beautiful this piece is. There are many things that he, he hunted. An antelope, a lizard, birds, a, an armadillo. Because the, his Oshosi is the god, the Orisha of the jungles of the hunting from our ancestral people of Africa, from places bringing from Nigeria and Angola and Congo. So now for those of you who hasn't seen before, there is a papaya tree here. Look, how beautiful. Hi, Dana, thanks for joining. There you go, there is Dana tour guide in Rio de Janeiro as well. Dana, we are today in the Catacumbas Park, and now I'm showing here a papaya tree. Look how beautiful this, it's filled with papayas there. They are all green, good for making the green candy of papaya. But when they arrive, they are so sweet because in the tropical weather, they get enough sun and they get really sweet. It's delicious. Now, talking about Africa and African gods and, and goddesses, we have here a plant of the pap papyrus. 
I don't know in English how do you spell, how do you pronounce that, but papyrus, I don't know if it's papyrus, but papyrus is this plant. Have you heard about the papyrus? The Egyptian people, the ancient people of Egypt, they use it to get the papyrus and produce a pa kind of a paper that they would write and make the hieroglyphs and writings on it, rolling them as well. So papyrus was one of the first uh, textures, textiles to make a paper to write on. Hey, Coralia, thanks for joining. Yes, Carla, I also have a papaya tree in my back patio here in Rio, but because there isn't enough sun from my back patio because of the buildings surrounding, it doesn't uh, really go, grow the fruits, just the tree. So, and look, and uh, note that I'm here. Now, also following the path of ancestral people and talking about Brazil now, this is a tree that we call the Urucum. And why I'm showing this? Because it's really important for our indigenous people in Brazil. The Urucum, which gives us this beautiful fruit here that I will go share with you. Look at that. I'm entering the middle. Look at this beautiful flower of the Urucum. Let me see if I can get closer and get some, uh, a little bit of zoom. The Urucum, thanks, Dana. The Urucum, look how beautiful the Urucum is. Is a tree that, hi, Jera, thanks for joining. That gives this beautiful flower. Hi there. But not only this beautiful flower, look at the fruit of the urucum. How interesting the urucum is. Look how beautiful an urucum tree is. It's a native plant from Brazil. Looks like a creature with open uh, mouth, doesn't it? But the, guess what? The urucum is used by indigenous people of Brazil to get these seeds inside. And I, I'll get one here. This is ripe already. I will even get one to try and plant this in my, in my home. And I will show you this about Duruku. I hope the securities doesn't really bother me here because they are really ripe. It's even time to pick them. But the urucum, as you can see here, has these red seeds. A curious thing about them is that if you get these seeds, it has a red powder. And the indigenous people of different tribes in Brazil, they will get this red powder and they will use to season food, to color food. It's a natural... Um, how can I say, a natural paint for food to make your food more look red and more delicious, like instead of a tomato sauce, they put the urucum seeds and you may have, for example, a moqueca looks orange and red because of the urucum powder that people use on it. But not only that, they, they also use the red to create a red paint to make beautiful body painting in their body. So you see some Brazilian indigenous tribes, they are all painted red, like a creamy paste of red, and that's made out of the urucum seeds. I'm gonna put these in my bag to carry this home. From here you see more urucum. More of the urucum tree. Now, another thing that I'd like to call your attention is to embaúba, is this tree here. The embaúba tree is the favorite tree of the sloths. And this is a species of the red embaúba. 
where there are many mbaúba in the Tijuca National Park, there is a chance of the sloth going there to eat their food. And there are few sloths in our fauna here. Now, a ripe fruit of the urucum for you to see. And also there is a beautiful flower here, but it's high for me to show you. Now, on the sculptures park, there are some part, uh, sculptures which are more of a romantic style from the beginning of the 20th century in Rio. Sculptures such as these of the indigenous, uh, indigenous person fighting with a jaguar. From H. Payroll, which is a sculpture working and alive in the beginning of the 20th century and who died in the 70s, 1970s. It was very common to have in romantic parks, historic parks of Rio, we can find many of these sculptures, which are from influence of the new classicism in the sculptures and the arts and in the architecture as well. Hi Isabella, thanks for joining. We are here in this beautiful Catacumbas Park on a trip through flora and art around this, the Sculptures Park, around the Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon. And here, the romantic sculptures, they have this perfect anatomic shapes of the ideal of beauty spread throughout ancient Greek times. So you see uh, uh, like the muscles of the characters represented at a fit shape, which is predominant is still among our Western people today. And these kind of sculptures could be found around the parks in Brazil at the end of the 19th century and also at the beginning of the 20th century, when the eclectic architecture was, and the romanticism was still very in the mindsets and tastes of people in Brazil, especially in the what was in that time the capital of Brazil also. All right, here in the Sculptures Park, there is a part there above, and we will go take the ramp on this other side. Isabella and Maria, thanks for joining. I am Kelly Tavares. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro. Here, Dana is present, also providing, giving some support. Thank you, Dana. She's also tour guide in Rio. And we run live tours, walking tours, cultural tours in town, and also virtual tours. Today, I'm going to give you this introduction to the Sculptures Park of Catacumba around uh, Rodrigo de Feitas Lake. And I invite you, after this session, to have a FaceTime on booking a tour on Amphi. I have also uh, been working in other platforms. So you can have a chance to see myself on the video, to have this video and this tour completely at its fullest, and then to I can hear your voice and see your face. So at the beginning of this tour, I shared a link to Amphi, which you can go to and book your session. If not today, you can book for another day and make your requests, okay?
All right, let's continue going. There are many cool people joining now. Isabella, Maria, Eva, Kate, Rochelle, and Igor. Thank you, Victoria, for your support. Here's this modern sculpture from Antonio Manuel Oliveira from 1980s. And it's saying it's the produce of the space. cool thing about the Catacumbas Park is that we have this introduction while we are connected to nature, doing trails, we see gardens, but we also enjoy art. That's something that we love about it. And you have some influences of the romantic, the British and Italian gardens. Look at that, how beautiful these sculptures are. Look at that. And I'm going to go through some of them with you. Another moment here to talk about more of the flora, of the local flora. I mentioned about the embauba with you. And one thing that I will teach you, Donna, I don't know if you don't know if you know that, but if you are there, I will let you know. I will teach you this if you don't know already. So the embauba tree has these leaves. You see, I showed you the tree. Now I'm showing you the leaves. And the leaf, it has on its back, it's a, a little, I can, there is the noise of the leaf, but it's something like a velvet. And when you see it on this side, it is white, whitish. Okay, it's gray, right? But when the sun hits the back of the leaves, it reflects the light and it looks silver. So there is a species of embauba that we call the silver embauba, which is the favorite food of these loves. But also it is uh, representing that when the embauba is present on the, on the forest, it means that the forest is a secondary vegetation. It is a young forest. And when I run the hikes in Rio de Janeiro, the Tijuca National Park, which you see uh, this typical vegetation that we see here, is a reforestation project that happened in the beginning, in the middle of the 1800s, from 1861. So 90% of the Tijuca forest was reforestated, replanted. So that's why there are many embaubas. Look how beautiful this sculpture is. It's an honor to the dancer and ballet dancer Nijinsky. Here, more up front, there is another artist who I like a lot. She's a modern artist, and there are works of her in the Modern Museum of Art. Uh, not the one in Rio, but also throughout Brazil. Uh, this one from Evandro Carneiro is a beautiful one as well. It's uh, Prometeu is the name of this one. This is from 1988, and many modern artists, sculptures in the 80s, they still had a lot of the influence of modern artists from the 50s in their works but they were already breaking some barriers, introducing other concepts, either politically, and which is, we can see uh, 
from modern artists in the Modern Art Museum here in Brazil, in Rio. Here, this one is saying, look at that. Why do you think this shape, this shape will, will bring for you? What do you think that is? Hi, Carla, thank you so much for helping my work. Now look at this. What do you think the name of this work of art is? Thank you. Well, that's cool, isn't it? It could be a bird. I also saw uh, this geometric shape as a bird. And it's the abstraction that the artist Edgado Vivier, Filho, did was a goalkeeper. Look at that after I said the name, goalkeeper. Can you see it now? It's from the years 2000. Now the same artist, Edgardo Vivier, also made this sculpture here called The Encounter. Oh, the, the girl there just passed it with a uh, on the, these cables, doing, uh, how do you call that, tirolesa, tirolese? I don't know the name in English. She just passed it from the top of my head. I didn't have enough time to, to raise the camera, sorry. But if someone comes again, I will show you. You can make many sports here in the, the forest of the park. So this work of Edgar de Vivier is called Encounter. This reminds me Zipline, thank you so much, Dana. Ah, and also, Dana, it's good that you showed up because it also reminds me that Dana and I are also planning tours together, as I've done with uh, Sayuri Koshima, as we uh, run some things together from Guides of South America. Dana and I will also plan, are planning already, and we will schedule our dates to have our tours of art and gardens and maybe cooking, I don't know, whatever you want to support us and, and ask. Look, the zip line. Woo, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> nice. I have done that myself, but not here in the park. The little girl there is ready for joining the, the encounter of the zip line. Now, this sculpture here, is called, let me remember the name. Ah, the name of this sculpture is beautiful. It's moon, from José Raul Alegretti. This is from the 1980s. And this, I can see an influence of one artist that I love. It's from Ioli de Freitas, who has also her works in different places here. And it's moon. Look from each different perspective what kind of shapes you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, thanks. Now, me and Sayuri, it was Sayuri and I there in Salvador. Yeah, I like to work with other colleagues. Please come back. Yes, yeah, Sima. If you don't have time at this moment, come back to other tours. I will be leading about two tours, two short tours throughout the week. I am not giving like full tours because I need to also to also do some prepaid tours to organize that to pay the costs of my to try and raise people to come audience to come to the tours to the prepaid tours as well to pay the cost with the transportation and my work with the live stream sessions. It's 
So I'm focusing, making an effort around that. Let's see. I have many expectations, but I shouldn't have many, right? Just uh, do my work and trust. And I do what I love, and it's so great. All right. So I've shown you this entrance of the Sculptures Park, and some people having fun here. <laughs> it's even um, takes me some while to go capture the person in the zip line. But in the Sculptures Park, it's a place that you can come for practicing sports, exercising, to do hikes, learn about modern sculptures and art in Brazil. Come with a family for picnicking. You can also hike and see a beautiful view of the Lagoon Rodrigo de Freitas and the south zone part of the city. Now here I would like to finish the tour sharing the house of the Mandasaya, the Brazilian bees, which they have here the honeycombs of the Mandasayas. There are many species of br the Brazilian bees. They don't have stings. So they build up this kind of houses here for them. So you can come, get closer, and see them around. Especially in the Tijuca forest, they, there are bigger colonies of the, the, the bees. This one looks that they moved. Ah, oh, no, here they are. All right. Here is coming outside of her house, looking. Maybe it's a guard. Yes, Carla, thanks. It will come when I do what I love and trust. Yeah, that's what I do and I've been doing. So I can't stop doing the live stream tours because it's something that I really love to do and I want it to happen as the best as we can so we can keep doing that for you. Can you see the, the bee there, the mandasaya? Looking outside, the ants, they want to enter the honeycomb to get some honey, but they are there as guards, don't let them get in. And it's just putting the eye outside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here present in the Catacumba Park. My name is Kelly Tavares. I uh, shared a little bit of gardening and art with you today. And uh, if you want to have more of garden tours, follow me here and also consider uh, booking a private session, a prepaid private session that I can, we can have some FaceTime, I can hear your voices and we can go deeper inside of Q&A sessions, and on a one hour tour, okay? Or 15 minutes also at your choice. Thank you so much. I will stop here. This, uh, is a sh these are the short tours of in Rio. And thank you all who had been and stayed here with me, supporting and participating. Thank you, Dana, for your support as well. Bye-bye, Carla. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Thank you also, Victoria, for your support. Thank you, Carla, for your support as well. See you next week. Let me see.